What's going on everyone, my name is Suboptimal and I'm just a typical Indian guy who makes videos about web development and productivity. In this video, I'll help you get started with the Tailwind CSS Typography plugin. Long story short, this is a plugin that styles your markdown content with beautiful defaults that the Tailwind team has configured. And if you want, you can also change these configurations. So there's a lot of customizability that comes along with it. And so today we're gonna to talk about how to install it, how to set it up inside of your project. And just as a quick overview, you can take a look at this markdown file. So I have this markdown file inside of my blog and let me click into it so you guys can see that this is supposed to be a header. This is supposed to be a link. And right now it looks really bad because the styling is just not there. So with the typography plugin, it's really easy to change this into something that looks more like this. As you can see, we have a header now. This backstory thing is a lot bigger. The A tags are looking cleaner. So if you hover over them, you can add some styling. The table looks pretty good, you know, things like that. And before we get started, I'm just gonna ask for one small favor from you guys. That is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Now I did recently quit my tech job to create, you know, educational content on YouTube full time. So I'm making less than a dollar a day. So it would be really helpful you know, if you guys could like and promote this content so that I could actually start maybe paying some of my bills, even if it's just something as simple as the internet bill uh, from my YouTube AdSense revenue. So it would really help me and the channel out quite a bit. Awesome, with that out of the way, let's get started. Getting started with the typography class is super straightforward. You really only got to do these two things, right? You want to first install the library into your project, and then you want to add the plugin into your Tailwind config file. So let's see how that's done. So right now I'm inside of my project directory, uh, suboptimal eng github.io repository. And here I'm just going to run npm install and pass in at Tailwind CSS forward slash typography. Here, inside of the Tailwind config, you have a few things, but really what you got to do is scroll down to the plugin section and add this one text right over here. And what it's saying is you're requiring the Tailwind CSS typography plugin. And once you require it, you should be able to use it inside of your project. So this is the article content. Think of this article to be Markdown. Right now, let me just show you guys what it looks like. So let me do an npm run dev. And I'm working with Nuxt, but you know, that really doesn't matter. I just refresh the page and you'll see here that we have the markdown content, but it's not styled at all, right? It's not styled at all. And what we want to do is style it so that it looks kind of good. So let's see how we can do that with Tailwind. So all we got to do is say, add a class to this specific tag. I'm going to say class and I'm going to say class pros. That's all you got to do. And once you say that, Tailwind is going to look at the specific tags that this markdown file has. Headers, we have A tags, we have tables, and Tailwind has custom styling for that. So basically, as soon as you add this class, you'll get everything working and it'll look pretty good right out of the bat. As you can see, we got a basic blog going and it looks pretty good, but that's not the end of the road because this blog, at least if you ask me, it's not perfect just yet because I think that there could be a little bit of styling that we could do to make this look a little bit cleaner. So let's see how we can customize our Tailwind uh, markdown settings so that this looks a little bit cleaner and more like a blog that is of my own style. So you'll notice here that I have some titles and I have, you know, the title of the project. And if I resize it, it will get smaller or it'll get bigger. So there's a resize mark that I have here, which I believe is LG. So when it hits LG, what we want is the markdown to get bigger and smaller. Right now, I think the markdown text looks too small. So let's see how we can change it inside of Tailwind. So I'll go here and what I'll say is by default, we're gonna say pros LG. Basically just means that everything inside of the markdown content is gonna be a little bit larger by default. And if the screen size is larger than XL, then we're gonna change it to pros Excel. So let's see what it looks like now. So I refresh the page and you can see here that this thing got a lot bigger. As you can see, if we resize it as the title and the top bar of the of the blog gets smaller, so does the markdown content. And when these things get bigger, and so does the markdown content. So that's one way to get some basic styling going. Say you do want to add way more customizability into specific tags. Well, you can do that too. So let's see how that's done inside of the Tailwind config. 
there's a lot of customizing options that you have inside of Tailwind Config, but I don't want to go into every single one of them because that would take forever. So I'll show you guys one specific use case that I had and how I was able to change the Tailwind Config to work for my use case. So inside of my blog, I had a couple A tags. So I had my Twitter link, you know, I had some links, things like that. And I wanted them to pop out a little bit more, right? So right now they kind of blend into this blog and I wanted to change the styling of them so that you can clearly see that it's a link. So yeah, now let's see how we can add this uh, custom styling for specific tags inside of the typography plugin. And this is how that's done. It's really straightforward. All we do is we go to the Tailwind config, go to the extend section and add our typography plugin. So once we add the plugin and we pass in the theme, we can use the colors like so, and we can customize whatever tags we want. Now I could be customizing the P tag, I could be customizing other tags, but for my use case, again, I just wanted to customize the A tag. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to uh, remove the underline from the A tag and I wanted to color it blue. Usually when you go on any website, you know, links are blue. So if you see something that's blue, you can tell it's a link. And additionally, I wanted to underline it when the user hovers over it. So that's all that's going on here. So now all of my A tags inside of the markdown should have this styling. So let's see what it looks like. Cool, so as you can see, when I hover over it, you get that underline feet functionality and it's turned to blue. So all of my A tags are turned to blue. So it looks like those are the only three A tags I had for this section. Let's take my other blog post, so my about page. I got my YouTube channel and my Twitter and these are also blue. So yeah, I mean, that's just how you can customize specific sections of your Tailwind config for Markdown files. So it is possible to really go ham on this customization section and do whatever you want. So in this case, what I have is I have the Excel tag. So when you're using Pros Excel, I want the A tag to be red. And if the if you start using Pros LG, then I change the A tag to be green. So basically what I'm saying is you can do a lot of customization and I don't want to go through everything here, but I, th I highly suggest you guys look into the docs to see what you can really do. But here's just sort of a small taste of what you can do. As I resize this page, I should see that now it's currently red and if I resize it, it should go to green. Yeah, so you can do a lot of customization for you know whatever tag you want. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned how to add Tailwind CSS typography plugin into your Tailwind project so that you can display Markdown and it'll actually look kind of decent. Uh, at least it did for me because I'm really bad at CSS. I wouldn't have been able to style Markdown by myself. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, then hit that like button. It's the best way to support me and this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.